okay guys as promised as you can see I'm currently flashing the Samsung Galaxy S7 as you can see right here I found the correct file and for this phone I would say that this phone is security lock in terms of the security download enable and also FAP lock on so we have to flash this phone with an official RAM file so if it happens that you come across a problem like this uh, you need to locate the correct RAM file for your phone as I didn't know the PDA number for this phone but however I download multiple files and this one is the correct file for this Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, and this is the P the number so you need to get this number from your phone settings yeah and you can find this information in about phone there about I'm still currently downloading another one as you can see here due to the fact that I'm trying multiple files to get this phone fixed as the system for it might be both up. load it's not it's not booting up the system is crash so we are currently flashing this phone and it is doing it baby so if it happens that your phone is secure download enable also with the FAP lock and most likely the Connox security will be in place as well you will need the official RAM file for your phone to flash your phone so this is another update video here from Lens and I'm just putting this one up there to help those of you who are struggling with your phone I could not have been lying because I'm gonna show you the list I had already downloaded in terms of files because I have already downloaded all these files right here and this is the one here in which this one here is the one that is now flashing the phone so guys whatever you're doing if it happens that if you don't know your PDA number you can simple just try the different files yeah just download the different firmware files and just try them you know that's what I did and I just take them off one by one there are other methods in finding this number also and I will just see that as you can see that it is fast and the phone is now erasing installing system update which is very good and as I'm saying it is that you can just try different files and this will not really harm your phone in any way because if it happens that your phone is not coming on you can try if it happens that you don't know the number you can try all the different number you can try the different PDA numbers for your phone also it's very important to know where your phone is located from or where you, which region you bought your phone from as this phone came from United States and I was able to get the region so I download RAM from that region so I was able to get the correct file you know it took me some time but I got the correct file so guys I'm Lens and I would like you guys to subscribe to my channel for more videos but this video is indeed a helpful video so I'm putting this one out there guys so for those of you who probably would experience something like this yeah for any comments question you can do so in the comment section below this video is an update from a previous video I did so guys I hope that this was helpful peace out